Welcome to my channel by Seema Makijani. A very good morning students of class 11th. We are doing a topic today known as electronegativity. This topic is a part of unit 3 class 11th periodic classification of elements. Fine. There are other topics already given in the channel in the playlist for unit 3 periodic classification. You can have a look at those topics as well. Moving to the topic of the day. Electronegativity. Vese to wordy kafi hai. Electro or negativity. इलेक्ट्रॉन्स के कारण नेगेटिव कब होगा जब इलेक्ट्रॉन्स गेन हो जाए तो अगर सिंपल वर्ड्स में जानना चाहें देन इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी का मतलब हो गया गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स व्हिच कैन बी रिलेटेड टू योर नॉन मेटालिक कैरेक्टर जनरली स्पीकिंग नाउ कमिंग टू द एक्चुअल टर्म इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी का मतलब इलेक्ट्रॉन्स के कारण नेगेटिव वो कब होगा जब इलेक्ट्रॉन्स गेन हो जाएंगे सो so, नॉन मेटिक मेटिकल एलिमेंट्स आर इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव इन नेचर ये हम स्टेटमेंट यूज करते हैं क्लास टेंथ में कमिंग टू क्लास इलेवेंथ वी हैव अ प्रॉपर डेफिनेशन द डेफिनेशन स्टेट्स दैट इट्स एन एबिलिटी और टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन एटम टू अट्रैक्ट द शेड पेयर अब ये इंपॉर्टेंट है शेड पेयर का मतलब है बॉन्डेड पेयर बॉन्डेड पेयर का मतलब हो गया इट हैज टू बी अ कंपाउंड उसी के इलेक्ट्रॉन्स की बात हो रही है ना एबिलिटी और टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन एटम टू अट्रैक्ट द शेड पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन टूवर्ड्स इट सेल्फ अपनी तरफ इलेक्ट्रॉन खींचना है टूवर्ड्स इट सेल्फ फ्रॉम होम फ्रॉम द अदर एलिमेंट फाइन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी नाउ लेट इज डू अ फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स सपोजिंग आई हैव अ कंपाउंड ऑफ अ मॉलिक्यूल दैट इज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ कंपाउंड और अ मॉलिक्यूल एंड यू विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द बॉन्डेड पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव अ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डेड टू अ हाइड्रोजन We very well know they share a single pair of electron. One electron each has been shared. अब बेटा ये दोनों तो same है. This would have a tendency to pull electron. This would also have a tendency to pull electrons. And they will both pull equally. If they pull it equally, that means none of them would be able to attract it. Hence, this is not an example for the category of electronegativity. Whereas, if I come to Cl bonded to Cl, or I come to F bonded to F, all these. will not show any electronegativity the reason being both the atoms are same they have equal tendency to pull the shared pair of electron so the shared pair of electron remains exactly here fine but if i take an example of the type h f now what happens out of the two fluorine is more non metallic if you are still in class 10th reference since fluorine is more electronegative so or it is more non metallic this shared pair of electron rather than residing here moves slightly more towards fluorine and this is represented as delta minus why do we call it delta minus because electron thoda sa shift hua hai delta means thoda sa just shift it okay agar electron idhar ko shift ho gaya to we say delta minus aur h ka kya hal hua uska electron fluorine ne khinch liya hai fluorine has pulled the electron of hydrogen towards itself so this gets a delta positive isko hum kehte hain negative pole isko hum kehte hain positive pole and such a molecule there is a electronegativity difference between the two this is said to be more electronegative and this is less electronegative in comparison to fluorine similarly let me take one more example in this case fluorine is more electronegative and if i talk about let's say hcl what do you think in hcl would happen the shared pair of electron will move slightly towards cl which means the bond would look like this thoda sa shift kar diya since the electron pair is slightly shifted towards chlorine chlorine gets a delta negative h gets a delta positive so chlorine becomes more electro negative all right now taking a few more examples for example i have a compound where you have cl bonded to f and i have another where you have cl bonded to h now what would happen in this case the shared pair of electron will be more towards fluorine because fluorine is more electronegative more non metallic fluorine gets a delta negative cl gets a delta positive while in this case what happens cl is more non metallic than hydrogen so the electron pair shifts towards chlorine chlorine gets a delta negative and hydrogen gets a delta positive now there is a surprise which means cl can be electro positive in some cases 
and it can be electro negative in some cases which means electro negativity is not a fixed value therefore your electro negativity is a relative value because it depends on the atom to which that particular atom is bonded if chlorine is bonded to fluorine then it has to give away the electrons it becomes electro positive but if chlorine is bonded to hydrogen then in that case it has a tendency to pull the electron better so it becomes electro negative so electro negative is a relative value it is not a fixed value not an absolute value and hence it also has no units because it is merely a tendency is that okay will have no units it is merely a tendency now beyond this how do we measure the electronegativity now to measure the electronegativity there was a polling scale which we follow which helps us to give us values for electronegativities of the atoms these values are what we normally use this is the polling scale have a look at the values now according to the polling scale the electronegativity values of carbon nitrogen oxygen and fluorine i have deliberately taken across a period and you can see as the non metallic character is increasing as you go from left to right of the period the electronegativity is increasing whereas as you go down the group the size is increasing metallic character is increasing so tendency to gain electron will decrease so your electronegativity decreases down the group and it is found to increase across the period so the conclusion is that electronegativity is inversely proportional to atomic radii matlab agar size badhega to electronegativity kam hogi size chhota hoga to electronegativity badhegi so it's inversely related to atomic radii it is directly proportional to the non metallic character of the element also it is directly proportional to the period number sorry the group number because the group number is going from this is group number 14 15 16 and 17 so as you go from one group to another as the group number increases i am not taking 18 because that is a noble gas that you can never compare fine hence as the group number increases the electronegativity is found to increase now as you move down the period number is increasing this is period 2 period 3 period 4 period 5 and period 6 as you go down the period number increases the electronegativity is decreasing so when the period number increases electronegativity decreases electronegativity is directly proportional to non metallic character and the group number while it is inversely proportional to atomic radii and the period number fine now there's another important information that you should know which is if the electronegativity difference of the two bonded atoms is more than 1.7 or it is less than 1.7 agar electronegativity difference zyada hai bit from 1.7 se zyada for example i take an example of let me take the example of nacl okay here are na and i can take an example of naf let me draw sodium ka electronegativity value was given as 0.9 by polling scale fluorine ka electronegativity value fluorine is the most electronegative atom so the difference between the two how much is the difference calculate how much the difference is 4 me se 0.9 minus karo 3.1 this value is greater than 
so we say the compound is ionic in nature whereas if the difference is less than 1.7 for example i take the example of clf cl ka electronegativity 3.0 fluorine ka electronegativity 4.0 what is the difference in their electronegativity is equal to 1.0 which is less than 1.7 so if it is less than 1.7 we say the compound is covalent that is just a way to say so there is this norm exceptions are always there but this value 1.7 is one of the borderline cases there are certain examples which fall in the borderline cases they have predominantly both the characters in them but generally we have ionic and covalent defined like this also whenever there is a electronegativity difference difference between atoms i'm talking about covalent bonded fine for example i take the example of hcl in this case cl ka electronegativity is 3.0 and hydrogen ka electronegativity for your information is 2.1 so the difference between them would come out to be 0.9 hence therefore it is covalent but what i am trying to tell you is is mein jo shared pair of electron hai wo kis ki taraf gaya cl ki taraf cl gets a minus charge h pe kya aa jayega plus charge aise molecule in which you have a difference in electronegativity any difference kam hai ya zyada hai par difference hai such molecules are also called as polar molecules electronegativity difference jinme hota hai wo polar molecules kehlate hain theek hai when i had started the class i had taken an example where there was no electronegativity difference in me no electronegativity difference no difference in electronegativity no difference in electronegativity these three example come under the category of non polar molecules so jinme electronegativity difference hai wo polar molecules this is also a polar molecule when there is a difference in electronegativity when there is a movement of the shared pair of electron towards one of the two then we have a positive and negative charge and we say such molecules are polar fine now i'll be concluding my class giving you the difference between electronegativity and electron gain enthalpy this is a commonly asked question and there is a confusion also about it so today we have done electronegativity if you have doubts about electron gain enthalpy please refer to my channel and the topic of electron gain enthalpy you can do it from there i am just summarizing the difference between the two this is for a bonded atom as we did today now this is only for an isolated atom if you remember if you have an x as an atom and if it gains an outside electron it becomes x minus an anion and releases energy this released energy is called as your electron gain enthalpy which means this is the tendency to attract the outside electron also by an isolated atom fine it has units iski value hai and it is represented as delta h eg generally it is a negative value because the energy is released absolute yani fixed hai because it is for an isolated atom ye to kisi ke sath bonded hi nahi hai so the value will never change fixed value hai for any particular atom but when we talk about electronegativity isme bhi electron gain ho raha hai but koi aur bahar ka electron outside electron is being gained and it forms an anion but electronegativity mein kya hai this is tendency to attract the bonded pair of electron koi bhi electron nahi jo bond mein use kara hua electron only that electron is to be pulled it has no units because it is a relative value it keeps on changing because it depends on the atom to which it is bonded it is dependent on the atom to which it is bonded so it would have no units it has relative value because it is dependent on others you can never say the electronegativity of this particular atom is fixed nitrogen ki electronegativity is 3.0 no that's wrong ye value pauling scale ne di zarur hai lekin these values are not fixed my advice is that you should learn these three values definitely they would be of use to you you should know the most electronegative atom is fluorine 
and the value given on polling scale is 4.0 there are no units fine so with this i conclude my class of the difference between electronegativity and electron gain enthalpy this is a commonly asked question you can even show the illustration here you have a cl the shared pair of electron here this gets a delta minus this gets a delta positive so this is what we can talk about electronegativity and electron gain enthalpy thanks a ton kids that was the topic of the class i hope i've tried to convince you with the topic may god bless you with good health may you stay safe bless you all keep liking keep subscribing and keep sharing thanks a ton